Welcome to the match preview here on CarolinaRailhawks.com, presented by Bojangles. I'm Jason Schrader. And I'm Kelly Glendinning. Last week, the Railhawks took on the Carolina Dynamo in the 100th edition of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. Tomorrow, we're going to take on the L.A. Galaxy. Last year, we beat them 2-1 to one when a key player came off the bench, scored a goal. Hopefully, we can see that tomorrow night. Absolutely. T. Shipolani was a huge impact sub last year for us, Kelly. Came off the bench, scored the equalizer with an amazing play, a couple of step overs to go to the byline, and then just tapped it in. And he also assisted on the winner to Brian Shriver, and it's his speed and pace that really disrupted that back line last year. I'm sure they'll be looking to do the same this year. And Kelly, you caught up with Coach Clark, who has beat the Galaxy now two times, once when he was the coach of the Puerto Rico Islanders in the CONCACAF Champions League, and then, of course, last year at Wake Med Soccer Park here with the Railhawks. I'm here with Coach Clark. Coach Clark, obviously you've had some great success against the Galaxy in the past. What are you going to do to get a third win against them? Uh, more of the same. You know, uh, last year was pretty special uh, for a lot of reasons, not only just for the team, supporters, fans, big crowd, atmosphere. It was one of our first wins that it got us going. Uh, this year, yeah, I think it'll be very similar. I think it's going to be a great game. Two teams who want to play. I know they're coming in looking for a little bit of revenge. Mm -hmm. and They want to do better than they did last year in, in this cup competition. But we want to you know, advance as far as we can. Uh, so, looking for a great game. I think there'll be goals to be had. Uh, and hopefully we come out on the right side of the result. Last year, Tief Shibalani came off the bench. Mm -hmm. He scored a very, very important goal. He equalized the game. This year, are you going to change your tactics in any way? Are you going to keep him off the bench and start him later, or are you going to start him to sooner? Uh, we'll see. You know, Tief had, a, like you said, was very inspir or inspirational in, in the game last year. Scored one, made one late on. Uh, and what a finish. How can you forget it? This year, you know, he's been starting a lot of games, so he'll start. You know, I think he's, he's deserved that that opportunity to go out from the start of the game. And, uh, you know, but he can still be a big influence in the game. He's playing well. He's uh, creating stuff, scoring goals. So looking for a big performance from him, but uh, big performances from everybody all over the field. Now how important will the fans be tomorrow night against the Galaxy? Very important. You go back to last year, they're, they're the reason that we win the game for me. You know, they get behind the team. We, you know, they keep us going. It's 15 minutes to go and we're still, you know, having chances, but you know, we're, we're still 1-0 down, you know, we get the first goal and the place erupts and then that drives them on to get the second one and it was a great night. So without them in that game, we I don't think we'd have won and I don't think we'll win without them tomorrow night. Thank you very much, Coach. Next, we're going to interview Tisha Bellani to get the inside scoop on what to expect from him tomorrow night. I'm here with Tisha Bellani. T, last year you scored the equalizing goal against the LA Galaxy. What are you going to do this year to hopefully do that once again? Well, I'm in a uh, different game, obviously, from last year. Uh, coming in as a starter, I'll probably look to uh, be more impact in the beginning, you know, put him under pressure from the get-go, turn him around, and, you know, try to uh, do what I do, create chances and uh, create opportunities for uh, strikers to score goals early in the game. Now, how big of an impact will the fans be early in the game to give you momentum going on to the rest of the game? Uh, they're huge. I mean, like, there are, like, 12 men, obviously, with them, you know, cheering for us, it, it gives us like the belief that we can actually go out there and win. And we have to believe that ourselves. So, you know, training was good today, so we're just looking forward to the game tomorrow, try to have fun and yeah, do the little things right. You can still get your tickets for tomorrow night's big game against the Galaxy by going to CarolinaRailhawks.com or calling the St. Lawrence Holmes box office at 919-459-8144. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with all the information on tomorrow night's game against the LA Galaxy. And don't forget to pick up your Railhawks gear like the jersey I'm wearing today. You can get that also on the website, carolinarailhawks.com, or at any of the merchandise stands here at Wake Med Soccer Park. I'm Jason Schrader. And I'm Kelly Glendinning. Thanks for watching.